हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू इंग्लिश शॉर्ट एंड क्लासेस वॉल्यूम फोर एक्सरसाइज फिफ्टी एट कैट रेडी फॉर द डिकेशन स्टार्ट मिस्टर डिप्टी स्पीकर सर बिफोर आई से एनी थिंग अबाउट डिफेंस आई वुड लाइक टू कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट द ऑनरेबल मिनिस्ट्री ऑन द सप्लेंडेड वर्क इट हैज डन इन कनेक्शन विद द इम्प्रूवमेंट ऑफ द कंडीशंस ऑफ द शेड्यूल्ड कास्ट एंड शेड्यूल्ड ट्राइब्स स्टॉक द प्रेजेंट होम मिनिस्टर एंड हिज मिनिस्ट्री आर नॉट स्पेंडिंग मनी ऑन गुड स्कीम्स एज यूज टू बी डन इन द पास्ट स्टॉक दे हैव गोट वेरी मेनी स्कीम्स एंड दोज स्कीम्स आर रियली वर्थ स्पेंडिंग लॉट ऑफ मनी स्टॉक दे आर रियली फॉर द बेनिफिट ऑफ दिस कम्युनिटीज स्टॉक आई वॉज गोइंग टू आस्क द होम मिनिस्ट्री टू सेट अप ए सेपरेट फंड फॉर द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ हाउसेज फॉर दिस कम्युनिटीज सिंस द मिनिस्ट्री कंसर्न विद हाउसिंग had completely neglected this problem which is facing these communities stop even the planning commission in the last 5 year plan has not done much in this regard stop i think even in the second 5 year plan there is no defined plan for providing housing facilities for the scheduled castes and scheduled tribes so but since the housing minister has promised that he is going to constitute a board to go into these things i do not think there is any need for me to stress this point any more so about the board which is going to be constituted i would definitely like to say a few words stop this board i believe is going to consist of some members of the harizan community and also a number of members belonging to non harizan communities stop in any case i would very much like that this board which will of course function under the home ministry should have as its chairman a non harizan stop i want to stress this point because i know that in some of the states where the portfolio of harizan welfare is given to a harizan minister he is not able to do his work properly stop it is not because he cannot do it it is not that he is not efficient enough to do it but because every time he speaks about the welfare of scheduled castes and measures to be taken to improve their conditions he is generally looked down by the other members of the cabinet as a communalist stop if the same thing is done by a member belonging to a non harizan community he will be considered to be doing a national service stop therefore the chairmanship should go to a non harizan stop the second 5 year plan i understand is going to be an industrial plan stop many industries are going to be established in this country stop therefore i feel it my duty to say that the ministries concerned with heavy industries should take proper care in setting up new industries in places which are not very well developed stop for instance if a heavy industry is set up only in one state all the ancillary factories crop up in that particular state and the benefits are 
derived only by the people of that state stock even in the case of employment in those factories it is always observed that the people belonging to that particular state get the preference and the people belonging to other stages do not get any benefit out of it stop therefore the ministry should take proper care to see that these heavy industries are located in such places that they cater not only to one particular state but can also cater to more than one state stop for instance if a factory is located in the center of a state the benefits of it will be derived only by the people of that particular state stop there is a factory in madras the prambur coach factory which is producing coaches stop that is located in the heart of the city of madras stop it cannot help the people of either andhra or kerala stop if the same factory were to be located on the borders there may be so many ancillary industries feeder industries in andhra or in kerala stop because it is located in the heart of the city of madras only the people of that state could make any profit out of it stop therefore i appeal to the ministry concerned to take proper steps to locate the future industries in such places so that they could be of help not only to one state but be of help to more than one state stop in hyderabad there is a place which produces thermal power but there are no industries to make use of that power stop repeated requests have been made by the government of hyderabad but the ministry at the center is not at all taking any notice of it stop i think if a factory to produce electrical goods or a small fertilizer factory or a small engineering factory were to be located at that particular place that will be able to cater not only to the hyderabad state but also to andhra and other places as well stop therefore it is necessary that steps should be taken to see that heavy industries are located not in one particular state but on the borders of states stop